You're listening to EU Audio. Listen, learn, lead. Overcoming obsolescence in the nuclear sector. Arguably, there is no industry as highly regulated as the nuclear industry, and none where minimising the downtime of mission-critical equipment matters more. Here we explore the impact of downtime and the value of obsolescence management in the nuclear industry. Globally, nuclear plants are subject to increasing demands in the face of ageing components and obsolescence management. To complicate matters, many of the original manufacturers who provided parts and equipment to the nuclear site when they were commissioned are either no longer in business or not certified to supply nuclear-grade parts. This leaves plant managers facing the unenviable task of trying to source safe and reliable replacements for ageing and obsolete parts. The earlier obsolescence issues are identified, the more options there are for mitigating the cost impact. Therefore, there is the potential to make significant cost savings if plant managers implement a proactive maintenance strategy. Persisting with a reactive approach, where replacement solutions are not planned and sourced in advance, can lead to anything from machine downtime to, in extreme scenarios, plant shutdowns. Upfront planning. Proactive planning for obsolescence offers two key benefits, in addition to the preparation of replacement parts and equipment in advance. Firstly, it presents plant managers with an opportunity to share industrial knowledge regarding equipment condition and reliability. Secondly, it facilitates the assessment of potential ageing mechanisms that add to long-term risks on site. Proactive obsolescence management means developing a plan that maximises the benefits of equipment modernisation and, crucially, results in a cost-effective solution. The planning process must consider the possibility that rapid technological evolution will most likely require that some systems be replaced one or more times before the plant's end of life. Over the last five years, the nuclear sector has adopted new technologies, such as programmable controls, digital instrumentation and control systems, smart sensors and wireless communication, all of which impact the obsolescence planning process. Obsolescence planning reports must be revisited every five to ten years so that accurate equipment lists are maintained and cost-effective planning of replacements is performed. This update cycle is also a good opportunity to adjust the plan to account for any significant regulatory changes. In the UK, the fundamental approach to risk reduction of as low as reasonably practicable that is defined in the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974 may be the controlling requirement. Crucially, to enact a proactive obsolescence management strategy and source any and all replacement parts, it is vital that plant managers maintain a strong relationship with a reliable industrial parts supplier. EU Audio is brought to you by EU Automation.